Hi everyone, I'm Sir Alan So uh, from Bit Academy and I would like to show you about uh, how to manage the labeling in uh, your Facebook page. So I will take Bit Academy Facebook page to show you as a sample. So this is the Facebook page dashboard and we will go to the left hand side, look for this one with the Facebook page inbox. So we we'll visit the inbox. You can see all the messages right here. So on the right hand side, you can see there's a column right here, which is label. So we can manage label right here. So when you do the labeling, actually it's convenient for you to filter. Okay, you can filter the label that you want. So now I will teach you how to uh, do the labeling first. Okay, first, very simple, you have to go to uh, choose here, this column, and you choose this one, which is add label. Yeah, add label, this one. I will choose add label. Then you have to review, to agree. Once agree done, then you can start add label. So for this, for this I will choose a vacancy. I choose vacancy. After you type, just simply click. Just enter. All right, just enter. You can see you got a vacancy right here already. So for the message, okay, you can uh, do the setting. Or you can label it. You can uh, manage the label. So uh, yeah, you can manage the label. I think uh, all this we get, we have the label already. Okay, the label is here already, it's vacancy. So next, I also can choose the label. Manage the label. Let's refresh, sorry, uh, I think it needs to refresh. Okay, you just click, you can see you start update with the label already. So once you do the label, it's convenient for your team, okay, or your customer service team to filter, you have to filter all the information. Right, for this, uh, you can check uh, if you uh, got a question, you can do yes. Okay, this one is uh, convenient for Facebook to uh, finalize whether their advertising system is it, uh, is it uh, managed to help us in our business. After you choose all the label already, right? So we just click vacancy. Uh, it can help you to filter to show you all the okay, all the label, which is your label vacancy. So you can choose the label right here. Okay. So after you do all this, it's easier for you to do follow up. Okay. The best actually you can. Uh, make your label make it more specific. Okay, so your concert, customer service team will be easier for them to uh, do the follow up. Okay, or upsell, downsell. And uh, for today, actually, I will just show you uh, how I do the label, and then uh, how I filter the label through the uh, inbox only. Right, that's all. Right. So see you in the next courses.